day students welcome to another video tutorial this is your teacher cherry and i will be with you all the way to make science learning fun and easy today we are going to discuss the nervous system and this is our most essential learning competency Describe how the nervous system coordinates and regulates these feedback mechanisms to maintain homeostasis. Our specific learning objectives. Number one, describe the different kinds of nervous tissue and their roles. Number two, outline the structures and divisions of the nervous system, including the role of functional areas. And number three, describe the role of the nervous system in maintaining homeostasis. Now, let us discuss the nervous system and its functions. The nervous system is a highly complex part of an animal that coordinates its actions and sensory information by transmitting signals to and from different parts of its body. How the nervous system interacts with other body systems. All of the systems within the body interact with one another to keep an organism healthy. Although each system has specific functions, they are all interconnected and dependent on one another. The nervous system controls various organs of the body directly. The brain also receives information from many organs of the body and adjusts signals to these organs to maintain proper functioning. For example, our cardiovascular system. The brain regulates heart rate and blood pressure. Our skeletal system. Sensory receptors in joints between bones send signals about body position to the brain. Our digestive system. The digestive system sends sensory information to the brain and the brain controls muscles for eating and elimination. Our muscular system. The brain controls the contraction of skeletal muscle. Our lymphatic system. The brain can stimulate defense mechanism against infection. Our urinary system. The bladder sends sensory information to the brain and the brain controls urination. Our reproductive system. Reproductive hormones affect the brain development and sexual behavior. Our respiratory system. The brain regulates respiratory rate. Our endocrine system. Hormones provide feedback to the brain to affect neutral processing. So this is how the nervous system interacts with other body system. What are the different functions of the nervous system? First, it gathers information from both inside and outside the body. It refers to the sensory function. Second, transmit information to the processing areas of the brain and spine. Third, processes the information in the brain and spine, and you call this one as integration function. Fourth, sends information to the muscles, glands, and organs so they can respond appropriately, and you call this one as motor function. Now, we will start with the central nervous system, and we will start with the brain. The brain is one of the largest and most complex organs in the human body. It is made up of more than 100 billion nerves that communicate in trillions of connections called synapses. What are the different regions of the brain? First, we have the cerebellum. 
It coordinates movement and aspects of motor learning. Next, cerebrum. Conscious activities including perception, emotion, thoughts, and planning happens in cerebrum. Thalamus. Brain's switchboard. This filters and then release information to various brain regions. Medulla is a vital reflexes as heartbeat and respiration. Brainstem. It includes the medulla, the pons, and the midbrain. Hypothalamus. This is involved in regulating activities in internal organs, monitoring information from the autonomic nervous system, controlling the pituitary gland and its hormones, and regulating sleep and appetite. Next, we have the spinal cord. The spinal cord is a long, thin, tubular structure made up of nervous tissue, which extends from the medulla oblongata in the brainstem to the lumbar region of the vertebral column. It encloses the central canal of the spinal cord, which contains cerebrospinal fluid. Now, let's move to the peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system includes the cranial nerves, 12 pair, attached to the undersurface of the brain, and the spinal nerves, 31 pair, attached to the spinal cord and various body regions. The peripheral nervous system is divided into two. We have the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. Somatic nervous system relays information from skin, sense organs, and skeletal muscles to the central nervous system. And it brings responses back to skeletal muscle for voluntary responses. Autonomic nervous system regulates body involuntary responses and relays information to internal organs. Autonomic nervous system is divided into two divisions. We have the sympathetic nervous system in times of stress and emergency responses and parasympathetic nervous system when body is at rest or in normal functioning. What are the basic cells of the nervous system? Neuron is the basic functional cell of nervous system. This will transmit impulses. What are the different parts of a neuron? First, we have the dendrite. This receives stimulus and carries impulses towards the cell body. Cell body with nucleus. This includes nucleus and most of the cytoplasm. Axon. These are fiber which carries impulses away from the cell body. Squan cells. Cells which produce myelin or fat layer in peripheral nervous system. Myelin sheet. Dense lipid layer which insulates the axon, makes the axon look gray. Node of Ranvier. Gaps or nodes in the myelin sheet. So how does impulses travel? Impulses will travel from the dendrite to the cell body to the axon. The three types of neurons. First, the sensory neurons, which bring messages to the central nervous system. Motor neurons, which carry messages from the central nervous system. And interneurons, between sensory and motor neurons in the central nervous system. Impulses. A stimulus is a change in the environment with sufficient strength to initiate response. Excitability is the ability of the neuron to respond to stimulus and convert it into a nerve impulse. All of nothing rule is when stimulus is either strong enough to start the impulse or nothing happens. Impulses are always the same strength along a given neuron, and they are self-propagation. Once it starts, it continues to the end of the neuron in only one direction, from the dendrite 
to the cell body to the axon. The nerve impulses carries a movement of ions across the cell membrane of the nerve cell. The synapse. This is a small gap or space between the axon of one neuron and the dendrite of another. The neurons do not actually touch at the synapse. It is a junction between neurons which uses neurotransmitters to start the impulse in the second neuron or an effector. The synapse ensures one-way transmission of impulses. Neurotransmitters. These are chemical messengers that transmit a signal from a neuron across the synapse to a target cell which can be a different neuron, muscle cell, or gland cell. Neurotransmitters are chemical substances made up of neuron specifically to transmit a message. Here are some fun facts about your nervous system. There are more nerve cells in the human brain than there are stars in the Milky Way. If we line up all the neurons in our body, it would be around 965 kilometer long. There are 100 billion neurons in your brain alone. A newborn baby brains almost triple in size during the course of its first year. The left side of the human brain controls the right side of the body, and the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. A newborn baby loses about half of their nerve cells before they are born. There are about 13,500 neurons in the human spinal cord. The nervous system can transmit nerve impulses as fast as 100 meter per second and in some cases, the speed of transmission is about 180 miles per hour. A man's brain has 6.5 more gray matter compared to women, but a woman's brain has 10 times more white matter compared to men. Your nerves Nervous system cannot function properly in the absence of potassium and sodium ions. That would be all for this day, students. This is your teacher Cherry saying, keep learning and be safe. Thank you and goodbye.